everyone? It's Mikey T, the movie star. I'm back with another exclusive. Um, today, we're actually going to get right back into the Max B talk because Max B himself has addressed the allegations. And I want to give a major, major salute to Hip Hop Classics, one of the most reputable brands, one of the most talented guys I know doing this hip hop thing, man. So major salute to you for staying in, in tune with everything going on on the gram, because right now the gram is, uh, you know, it's like, it's like where everything happens on the internet. You see all these comments, you know what I mean? You see all these responses, it's all types of crazy stuff going on on the gram. And today it looks like there's actually been a post from actually one of these jail, uh, tablets of, uh, like a jail t tablet that Max B was in contact with somebody on and it looks like this person has actually posted Max B's message in regard to what's going on with uh, I want to say his stepbrother it's either his half brother or his stepbrother I want to say it's his stepbrother in this case uh, who goes by the name of Pooh um, and that's what we're going to be talking about today guys Max B has actually not publicly but through friends has addressed this issue that's been going on. Um, I did see some of the paperwork that came out. There's been a lot of there's been a whole lot of discrepancies with that paperwork, you guys. Um, I'm not gonna read that at this time. I do remember years ago the same story came out. Um, the same story came out years ago, and it seems to me the guy who put this this all out right now, it seems to me that he just might have been locked up when this whole thing happened so he really doesn't know what's going on um no disrespect to gully tv but you just might not know what's going on dude it, it might be the fact that you was locked up at the time or something like that and you know what i mean you kind of got a warped you know you kind of got a warped perception of what's going on here man because years years prior to this it was revealed that police had pulled up to Max B's crib. It had been revealed that police were actively tailing Max B on a daily basis because the man was on parole. The man was, you know, the man was on paperwork at that point of his life. So Max B was actively being, you know what I mean, followed by the police. The, pe the boys had all access to Max B. This is something you would know if you really studied the craft and really did your research about the matter. You would know that years prior, uh, the whole Max B thing with his girlfriend, you would know that behind the scenes story. But you just want to come out here and report some bogus headlines about Max B and about his brother and about the whole situation with the girlfriend. Because there's a lot of new fans. There's a lot of new fans who don't really know the backstory about that whole situation. And this whole thing has made me see that backstory clearer than ever. And made me see that this is just a situation of a, of a thought. Of a thought getting her former man in trouble with the law. You know, and he's, he's in a tremendous amount of trouble, you guys. Max B has been locked up since 2009. And now, you know, a lot of new people in this game are thinking that Max B is going to have to, you know, address this issue when he gets home. I don't think this is going to be an issue Max B has to address. I think this is just the, a, a, a slimy story. It's just a slimy story about Max B that really should have never got out if you want the 100% facts. If you're just going to use your platform to put out every little slimy, bogus story, I mean, that's just, that's just whack. Like the guy said, like the uh, like the street nerd said, this story had been sitting on his table for a while. Every single one of us that do this has had that story sitting on their table for a while. And now you got to bring it out to the public so we all address it. Nobody wants to talk about that situation anymore. When Max B's girlfriend tried to turn, Max B's ex-girlfriend tried to turn the tables on them, jump on the stand and testify. In return, she got 18 years herself. That's the real story. The girl in the case, and I don't even want to mention her name. I don't even want to really want to mention her name like that. The girl in the case took the stand and told the whole situation that happened with Max B and his brother and her. And they involved Max B. However it happened, I don't know the full backstory whether Max B's stepbrother had started associating with his ex-girlfriend. I don't know that backstory. And you know what? Sometimes people like to keep to the street code so much that they won't tell that backstory. You know what I mean? It's like A.R. Rab's case right now. He's not going to tell the backstory of his friends. 
even to get out of jail. It's called honor, you guys. It's called honor. You know what I mean? Max B's in there right now. He's not going to tell the cops any more information than he has to. And everybody wants to come out here with all the snitching allegations. Like, I don't think it's right. You know what I mean? Max B is on his home stretch right now, you guys, doing two two more years, three more years, possibly, maybe even less time than that, you guys. I honestly think Max B should out be, be I think he should be out of jail right now with everybody with everybody actually, you know what I mean, getting out of jail early. Uh major shout out to Fab Don. Got an interview with one of Queens' one of New York period's hottest upcoming rappers. Just got out of jail. He was sentenced to three years. He actually got out of jail based on, you know what I mean, the re- uh the pandemic releases. So I think Max B should be released based on his charges. His charges really have come down tremendously to where his only charge now is actually manslaughter. So I appreciate everybody tuning in, but um, we're going to get into Max's message, actually. Sorry, I forgot about the message. I mean, I've just been here talking the whole time. Uh, let me actually get to the message that um, Max B sent to a friend. Uh, this message was on October 6th. Um, it said, bro, don't let poo get you bent out of shape. I got the same paperwork that says otherwise, but let this N-word sit where he is at. Jealous N-words despise. He ain't one of us, bro. Love you. And F any N-word that's feeling the way he do, because everybody knows poo is full of BS. This is a message that came from Max B. Um... That was posted by Hip Hop Classics, actually. He follows, like, everybody on Instagram. All the popping people that are going to have the dopest stories come out, Hip Hop Classics follows. And salute to Hip Hop Classics for showing me love when, uh, you know, I started showing my face on camera and, and speaking on all of the AR Ab trials. I really respect that, man, that you were one of the first people to reach out to me and be like, yo, Mikey T, what you're doing is dope. I like what you're doing. So I'm going to put uh, his Instagram in the bio for everybody. If, if anybody in here is not following him, y'all could follow him on the gram and y'all could subscribe to him on YouTube. Um, but this is a message that looks to me like it didn't come publicly on Max B's Instagram page. It did not come from the Max B Instagram page. So this is not something that Max B is currently commenting on publicly, you guys. Uh, Max B addressed this through a text message to somebody that he's corresponding with, somebody that's a part of his daily life. Not to the public, y'all. So you gotta you gotta take a look at that situation. Like Max B really isn't even looking at this at like that. This is a situation that's happening with him and his stepbrother. Yeah, before we get out of here, guys, I want you to check out this new music video from the Bull YD. The joint is called NBA. And let me tell you, uh, YD is a young Philly spitter. I know we got a lot of people from Philly in the house, North Philly, South Philly, West Philly. Salute to all y'all. But everyone that's even not from Philly, I want you to tap in with the Bull YD. He told me that he's been doing music for a while. He released his first tape in 2012. Since then, he dropped five mixtape and a f- five mixtapes and a full feature-length DVD with the top artists in Philly showing love. Uh, there were several guys in that DVD that made appearances from Philly, including Gilly the Kid, Reed Dollars, Kerr, Santos, Sean Smith, uh, who used to go by Young Savage. K Walker, K Dot the Showstopper, and many others. You know, uh, I asked uh, the Bull YD, like, why did you get, like, what was it that inspired you to get involved in hip hop? He told me that his love for hip hop was inspired uh, because he always was writing rhymes. But after his friend passed and other friends started dying and getting caught up, and his best friend actually went upstate, and all the family issues and all, it motivated him to go harder with the music. And do something more than just being in the streets and hustling. He knew that he had to find a different way. So he figured out a way to channel his anger and his frustration through his music. I want you guys to take a look at his new video, NBA. Um, It's actually on my Instagram page. Anybody that uh, goes over there, you'll find the link in my bio. Uh, But I'm going to leave YD's Instagram uh, info in the description here. As well as the full music video link for NBA. Check the joint out, man. Uh, YD is an indie artist, man. So everything that he does, it's from the muscle. It's all out 
out of his own pocket. Support somebody supporting themselves, y'all. You know what I mean? He does the whole nine for himself. Support somebody coming out of Philly, man. It's your boy Mikey T, the movie star. Everybody watching this video, I'd like y'all to follow me back on the gram. It's Mikey T underscore the movie star. Everybody who follows me based on this video, I'm going to give you the immediate follow back. If you want to come on the channel to do an exclusive interview or if you want to, you know, uh, send me some gear to wear for a, mu for, uh, a video, I'm open to all that, y'all. But just hit me on the gram. I'm easy to find. Salute.